Hey, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Raj and this is Tesla Raj. We cover everything in the world of Tesla and EVs. And today we have a very exclusive video. We're going to be looking at my first hand experience with full self-driving beta, which just launched 24 hours ago. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss videos like this exclusive and more that are coming, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. So when getting into the car, we didn't initially get presented with full self-driving until you were out of your driveway, but still in a residential court. It was at that moment that the screen changed into a, a computerized graphic from the future that basically looked like you were seeing what the computer sees. It was recognizing all objects, including cars that were parked on the curb. This was most impressive to me was that it was seeing those cars and on a residential street, there were no lane markers, yet it was staying on the right side. It was avoiding the cars parked on the curb and still driving and navigating. And that was shocking to me. You'll see my reaction here as, as it turned and we'll get into the turn. It was kind of a little scary because we're not used to that. Wait, no way, dude! There's no lanes. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, here we are. It's going to speed limit too, dude. Elon, right. you madman. Wait, but wait, there's cars on the side of the road and there's no lane markings though. Dude, oh. <laughs> dude you oh, tripping dude. out. Oh. oh, 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 okay, okay, we good, we, we good? good. Oh, we good? it's navigating around the car. You didn't do that, you didn't do oh, that. I didn't do it, dude, I'm not doing anything other than being very cautious, Elon. You're a madman. Till today, full self-driving has been a feature that was doing basically keeping you in your lane, merging you out of lane, doing traffic aware cruise control. Most recently, it's doing stopping at stoplights with confirmation on city streets and stop signs. So it hasn't really turned or worked on residential streets. It was highly dependent on lane markers. To see this working without lane markers and on residential streets was a little freaky and but it worked and it worked so well. The one thing I will highlight is that full self-driving beta is very, very limited release. And that's because it needs to be used with extreme caution. This is beta and in some cases you might take this as might even be alpha because of the small amount of people that actually have this software today. Elon and the team are really focused on making this very, very safe and secure before rolling it out to more. But now that it's rolled out, keep in mind full self-driving is currently today $8,000. Elon just tweeted that it's going to go up by $2,000 on Monday because it's officially in beta and you're able to see the capabilities, which we're going through here. Now, just like the other full self-driving features when you're on the freeway, you need to keep your hand on the steering wheel, you need to be aware, and it does require the acknowledgement of the steering wheel and your hand present. The same thing works with street level self-driving, full self-driving. Now, after seeing the navigation through the residential streets, it then proceeded to take its first turn. And this was crazy because the Tesla has never taken a turn on its own. All right, here we come up to the first, the first turn, dude. No. Blinker no. is on, oh, dude. Blinker's on. My mind is about to be blown, bro. Okay, here no we go. Way. Oh, no way, dude. Oh, my, it paused to look. <laughs> it paused to look, dude. So making turns was crazy, but it turned and it worked and it stayed on its side and it avoided the cars that were parked. The next area where I thought it was shocking was we came to a light and at that light it crossed traffic and made a left. There were no lines on the road for it to follow but it knew where to go. It listened to the light, it stopped when it needed to stop and it went when it needed to go. This is the first left turn. Wow, look at this. Slowing look down. And then it takes. Seamlessly transitioning into the left hand turn lane. <sighs> going, going. Wow. wow. That's awesome. And that this is awesome. awesome. Better. And no lines on this residential no road. Yet it's navigating it perfectly. It's an interesting that just happened. 
in this stoplight, there's a left turn lane and a straight lane. And it Whoa. picked the correct lane. I've had this issue before where it didn't. And it just did. It's going through the light, bro. A couple things that I did want to talk about is that when it was making a right or a left turn, it almost acted very human-like in the sense that it came to a complete stop, creeped, and almost looked like it was looking to check for oncoming traffic. All right, here we come up to the first the first turn, dude. No. Blinker no. is on, well, dude. Blinker's on. My mind is about to be blown, bro. Okay, here no we go. Oh, no way, dude. Oh, it, it paused to look. <laughs> it paused to look, dude. Wait, no way, dude. There's no lanes. Oh my gosh, dude. Like it was using the cameras and the sensors to make sure no cars were coming before it actually made that turn. Like I said, because this is beta, it's going to be very cautious on its actions, but it felt very reassuring that it was doing that. It almost felt like I was still driving because I still looked and the car felt like it was looking. So that I thought was amazing and truly mind blowing how it was working. All right, we're coming up to a stop sign on a main road. Okay, there's a stop oh, and there's cross traffic. Well, did you hit that brake? Did you hit the brake? No, dude! <laughs> oh, no way! Oh my Bro. gosh, dude! Okay, look, I, I want to I wanna call something out. Is like you can see the shoulder on yes. the screen now. Yes. Now, I do want to highlight the computer and how it was analyzing everything on the road. Now, I don't know so much as to how the colors were identifying things and what meant what, but it was picking up everything from cars on the side of the road that were parked to cars that were moving to semis to trucks to objects. You were really seeing the world around you as the computer sees it and how it's analyzing it and making decisions in real time. It was very, very impressive. A little distracting because it's very colorful, but I assume that when the final release comes out, that's all going to go away. But very cool to see how the computer is seeing everything. Now back to the turns. Here was another example where the vehicle, we were navigating to a supercharger and watching the vehicle go and change lanes, merge to the right to make the right turn and pause and continued through the intersection on a green light. Now, when it was a red light, it actually stopped, paused, looked, and then went, which was obeying traffic laws perfectly. Not a California stop, a real, full stop. We also noticed how the car was picking up a person. One of our friends walked around the car and seeing them analyzed by a green box in front of the car and a blue box to the sides of the car was also very interesting and an upgrade from what we're used to just seeing a, a black silhouette of a person walking and seeing how the car is watching that person walk around the vehicle. So my final thoughts on this full self-driving preview beta is I was shocked and impressed. Actually, I wasn't shocked. I wasn't surprised because I didn't expect anything less from Elon and the team at Tesla. They did a stunning job for this being an early beta that very few people have. It worked. I don't even want to put a percentage on it, but it was very very high from navigating residential streets to right turns left turns it was shocking how good it was and i'm excited to see this develop more get even better although i have a hard time finding out what else more there is to improve obviously need to drive more you need to find the use cases where you know it's not perfect but there's a lot of edge cases and for tesla and the team to figure that out and continue to develop it so much to the point that it gets to where Elon feels that it's comfortable enough to roll it out to everyone is going to be quite a journey. But seeing this now, I, I don't know what to say to other automakers. This is leaps and bounds further than anything I've ever seen. So congratulations, Tesla. Congratulations, Elon and the team. I know this has been a lot of work in the making for many years and to see this in person in the flesh it was very impressive in any case hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that thumbs up button 
helps more people find the channel and I appreciate you guys. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you wanna see more videos on the full self-driving, maybe a from a point A to point B or see the whole journey with the outside camera and inside camera, let me know. Leave them down in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. So it knows a shoulder. Yes, dude. Like how thin it is. So it sees where the wall is oh, as opposed to the, where the white line is. And so now we're on a road. Bro, this, I'm done. Dude. Uh, uh, dude. Tesla. Dude, I'm done. Dude, I gotta, I gotta buy more Tesla stocks tomorrow, bro.